Hi, I'm Teresa Ford, and I'm talking about how to create a comic page in Adobe Photoshop. This video, we're going to do super quick panels. And we're going to do two different ways for our panels. Here we have our document that we set up in the initial video. Let's go up here and guides. If we were still looking at our guides, this is where we had left off, I believe, with the guide showing. We can easily clear those via view guides and clear. We want to go ahead and add a bit of a margin over on the right side too, so that when people are holding the book with their thumb, they aren't covering up words and important critical pieces of our storyline. So we're going to go ahead and create our new guide layout to the right side. Let's go ahead and make this 0.52. All right, well, we can see right here that that'll give us a 0.375, I think, for the margin for your thumb to hold the paper. Now we have two different ways we can do, we can do our panels. We can do a panel that matches a specific ratio. We can do a two-thirds by half, and we would fill that with a random color, and I like to pick a nice pretty tealish color or something. And we're going to put this on a new layer, Bink. and that gives us a panel. And we're going to be using that as a clipping layer for our actual images. We could also do the other way if we didn't if we didn't want to worry about the guides here. View guides, clear the guides. Bloop. And I do want to I do want to see that right margin. Let's bring that back again for a second and add a right margin. Do, 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 do. And it's snapping to our guides for us. G fifty, bloop. All right, and let's go ahead and bring this back to twenty nine, also, and we will make this our right margin. All right, we'll go ahead and drop that down here and lock it so we don't accidentally edit it. There we go. Now we can get rid of our guides. View guides. Bye bye. All right. So we can do another way to do a panel. We're going to go ahead and grab that fancy color again. Do, do, do. And I'm holding down an option key to pick the eyedropper tool to grab the color. I would do that by filling the whole page, switching over to white. I hit the X key to switch to the white, grab a brush. The brush I want to make the size of the gutter that I want to use. So I make it a little bit bigger. And we'll add another layer and painting with white this time. If I click, hold the shift key down and click somewhere else, I get a straight line. If I click, hold the shift key down, I get a straight line. If I click, hold the shift key down, click again, I get another straight line. And I have an instant page layout, which I can then go up here with my wand tool, select it, grab a new layer, fill that one spot. And again, it really doesn't matter what color you're using to do the to do the uh, spot fill here. Let's see, and this would be panel one. And you do want to name your layers as you go, so that things are easier to find. Let's see. Let's Control D to deselect that. Hit the wand tool for W. Select the next one. Add it up. Fill it in G, and that gives us a panel two and so on. Now these you're going to use as clipping layers and what I mean and what I mean by that hit save here. Let me unselect that. Is if I drop in an image, let's go find an image here. Got files on my computer here. Downloads. Let's go hit the downloads. Suppose we want to put this lovely image here in. I drag, drop it and just hit enter and I hold the command and option key down and it clips to that layer. 
Now it's not showing because the layer itself is up here. So if we move that, hit the V key to get the, there's a move tool here, and we can move that around. We can resize it. We can do whatever we need to do to make that fit where we want it to fit. We're going to make them kind of wide. There we go. Hit enter. Our second panel, we're going to do the same thing. We'll come over here. We'll grab another image for our second panel. And let's grab, I don't really want the guy. I feel like I failed to save some of my images here from mid journey. Let's go ahead and drag that one in just as an example. And I clip it, command option key to the layer below, transform it with command T, play with stretch it around, bloom, like so. And it makes your panel layout go very, very quickly. We could also limit to that square panel, rectangular panel. So if we wanted to take the guy, Ugh. bear with me, I'm having mouse issues here today. Hit enter, clip it, bink, play resize it. This, this way of doing things with the clipping masks like this makes it very quick to change your art up so you're not trying to cut the actual art, you're not playing with, with masking over here to limit things and, and erasing and drawing. You can still do those things to it, but this, this way just makes it really fast to get it put together. So that would be how you would create your panels you're creating a shape layer of some sort of however you want your panel to be and then you're dropping in the image and clipping it to that layer to make your layout 